So we've recently reviewed the DCB, the deep cavity back. Today, we've got the TCB, the tall cavity back. Yeah, I'm just waiting for the JCB to get me out of the sh So, Callaway, being the major manufacturer that they are, have kindly added to their better player range in the shape of the TCB. <laughs> I seem to say this about a lot of golf clubs, but I do feel like this one did slip by the radar. Starting to wonder that there's no one monitoring the radar in the control tower at T-Mal HQ, or it needs to be sent back because it's crap. <laughs> but I suppose I could be forgiven because the main release included the Apex, the Apex Pro, and the DCB. This did come a few months afterwards. One video that I don't want to see go under the radar is a toe-to-toe -to -toe with this up against the likes of an Apex Pro. Where does this sit in that better player range? Because Callaway have screwed up. Screwed up into the back of this tungsten plate, that is. Even though I do think this iron is pretty, I'm really not for this external screw, external technology business. Um, I stick by, even though the majority of the iron is very traditional, I do stick by keeping the tech inside. Even though the story behind this tungsten plate is pretty smart. Because this little badge right here allows Callaway to easily adjust swing weight just by changing this tungsten plate. Simples, but that's great. What about the performance of it? That's what's really important. I don't think you're going to be disappointed. I've never had so many near hole-in-ones in like the last 20 shots. It's unbelievable. It's one of the easiest, better player's irons that I've had the pleasure of hitting. Yeah, many people did say that the shape's quite intimidating and I honestly don't think it's got any sort of bladiness about it, which you could say is not necessarily a good thing, but it's performing like one, but I still feel like it's a, definitely a bigger profile and I feel very confident over the ball. We'll keep going. easy it just feels easy so the head is built with a forged 1025 carbon steel and it feels absolutely lush it really does it's right in that balance of soft and firm it's not too soft it's not too firm it is literally a beautiful feeling iron And the head profile for me is literally perfect. It's compact enough to know that you're targeting the tall players, the better players, but you've got a little bit of forgiveness as well. It's not the thinnest top line I've ever seen, and I've definitely seen less offset. And you just assume that players like Rahm, some of the best golfers in the world, would head straight for the Apex MB. But when you know that they're going for this, they get the best of both worlds. They've got that forgiveness. There's no point making this game any harder, but yet they can control it and strikes on the face aren't going to end up and result in different distances. Consistent flights, ball flights in the same window, boom! Yeah. I love the set of irons, guys. I've nutted that one. Straight over it. So I planned to do a few just to warm up and it's, it's ended up being a, uh, well, <laughs> I'm not going to say a clinic, but wow. So in Callaway's terms, these irons give you an extremely soft feel, optimum ball flight and control, precision distance control, and tall shaping and design. Funnily enough, lofts and specs, I would say sit again, not too, tradi too traditional, <laughs> not too traditional, but not too crazy either. It's giving you that better player vibe, better player performance, but usually that sacrifices in distance. So a couple of degrees here and there, help you get the ball out there whilst also still trying to 
be precise. It's not really a review, is it? I'm just hitting balls, but yeah, they, they're not work <laughs> they're not working very well. Oh no! <laughs> oh, even that's not that bad. That was the forgiveness part to see what you see, so that passed. But I've just ruined my dispersion pattern. This is really something. Okay. Now I can see why the likes of Ram have stuck it in the bag. Yes, there were good swings. I removed that last one, even though it was still dancing. But those seven prior, I mean, I'm impressed. But the numbers of those are down below. But what I want to do before we go is, this is about precision. We also need to be able to shot shape as well. So it'd be rude if we left without doing the shot shaping challenge. So as we know, high draw, low draw, high fade, low fade, straight shot and stinger, all in one cut. Very rarely do we get them all in a row without making a mistake. Could this do it? We've seen, we've got on, we've got on today. I feel like we've really connected. So maybe it could be the day. But before we do that guys, I just want to say thank you so much for watching as always. If you're not a part of Team Al, hit the subscribe button and the bell notification. Follow us on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and I'm live streaming on Twitch. I would love to see you there. Follow us on Discord, the best server out there. The links are also down below. Thank you. Is that drawing? Yes! It's definitely lower. Not the best shot, but it counts. All right, high fade. Love it. That's that zippage we're talking about there, look. 8,000 backspin, love it. It's definitely trying. Not bad, really. They were not good swings, but we've still managed to produce some sort of correct shot shape. <laughs> Right, straight shot, straight-ish. It's got to be under 500 side spin. <laughs> it's straight, but a block. <sighs> oh, lucky. That was a terrible swing, but it's under 500. So it's not really straight, but in the Owl's rule book, <laughs> straight. Stinger. Yeah, definitely stinger, look, you see the one? Definitely see the stinger. And this that's a full pass, kinda. I wasn't overly convinced, but it kind of did what we wanted it to do. Swing was terrible there. But I just want to see how far and to prove to you guys that the distance aspect is still in here. Yeah. If you need it, it's definitely there. Love you.